Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Johnny, and if this is your first time watching, I show you how to make money in the stock market. So if you like that kind of stuff, feel free and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, I wanted to show you my Robinhood portfolio, and for all of you that are following me, we just hit the thousand dollar mark um, on um, 30, week 32, which was two weeks ago actually. And what I did was I took $500 out to invest in something else I seen potential in. And I kept $500 in. What I want to do is mirror what I did these last three months to go from $500 in January to $1,000 in March. And I want to do that again all over for anyone that's already grown their accounts with me when we started out at $30 or even at $0. And I have a video that I could show you on up top um, about that how I started and how I got my six free shares. Um, now, with that said, like I was saying, the people that have grown their accounts with me, um, you know, people at $100, four, or $500 now, I'm going to now be right there with you guys again, and you're going to be able to watch and mirror what I'm doing if you want to, and I'll be able to show you how to grow that $500 account back up to my thousand dollars that I was at and to your first thousand dollars so um, I'm really excited about this guys let's go ahead and switch over to um, my screen here and it is the morning of Wednesday uh, April 11th um, this video is going to be during a live market and so I wanted to show you some of the things I'm doing in my portfolio. Now, I started this um, about a week ago. I took a week off, um, took some time to get the money out of the account and transfer to the bank. So this is my first official week of the $500 to $1,000, and I'm already up $16 for the week. Um, not too bad right now. We are actually up $23 for the week. I'm sorry, correction. Um, we did have a small little dip here at the beginning, um, and... Basically, we're up still $50 for the month, and all in all, guys, um, I know like I took $500 out, but we are up 202% or $345, guys. That's so awesome. Um, so basically, some of the stocks that I have right now currently in my portfolio is um, DNR, and I can show you the changes today. DNR is up 1%. Um, so there's a nice runner again. It's a really good runner that's been happening um, all week long. They're up 12% for the week. They're up 34% for the month, and they're actually up 36% for three months, 30% for a year. So that's pretty good. Um, I bought in at 269 with them. It's a very good company. You could still buy in at three dollars and eighteen cents. Basically, what they do is they um, exploit, drill, and extract oil and natural gases, and they have almost 900 employees with a $1.25 billion market cap. Their P.E. ratio is really strong right now. It's really good at a, almost an 8. Um, a lot of companies will be at 20s, 30s, 40s, even 100s, so that's a really good P.E. ratio. And they have a great average volume of seven million. So, with that said, they are thirty percent higher right now, but that's because it's just been showing nothing but growth these last three months. And um, I would tr probably get on board if you guys like this company. Um, they are saying to hold on to this company, but um, only eight percent say to buy, eight percent saying to sell. But I honestly don't think it's going anywhere. It's just doing nothing but going up since 2016. It had a little dip, and then in 17, it started going up, and now they're making 12 cents per share, and that's amazing. Now, I've been watching this company. Let me show you guys. I've been watching it since August 29th, and I got in at a dollar, and it's already at 318. So if I would have kept all my shares, I would have been up significantly 30, 40, 50 dollars already. But what I was doing was I was just learning, so I was taking small percentages and lock or small gains and locking in those profits. A dollar, I made um six cents here, you know, um, or I bought those two and made a few cents, uh, 12, 14 cents actually. Bought again, sold here, and made um, you know. Um, 
good amount of money there. Made seven cents there. You know, I, I made gains just kind of hopscotching along with this stock. But now I'm actually able to kind of ride this company out long term and see what happens. I really strongly believe this is a good company. And I think if you guys want, you should really look into it. They're already up 3% for the day. So what am I up to today? I'm actually down 41 cents. Not too bad, you know, but I have a lot of gainers here as well. Um, we have Fit. Let me go to current price. So DNR is at 322. Fit's at 497. And I have four shares of Fit. I like this company. It was down a little bit pre-market just now, but, you know, it's a good company. Um, Fitbit is the watches that people wear, um, so it's a consumer product. It's um, It helps people to burn calories and helps um, people track minutes and distance. And they have 1,700 employees in, in San Francisco at $1.18 billion market cap with $6 million in average volume. So this would definitely be a nice little company to get into if you're just starting out. 106,000 people own Fitbit, so it's definitely very popular. There's always news on them. It's actually 30% lower right now to buy, so um, you could have it pull back some more and try to get to that $4.51 52-week low, uh, or you could try to catch it now and it'll go back up, but honestly, you should do your research, um, and I could even leave a video when um, I'll probably add more because I'm already in on it, but they're um, actually right now, I think they're a little bit negative on their earnings, so I'd definitely be careful with it. I don't really like any stocks that have negative earnings. It's just kind of my preference. Um, and I have sold it in the past, bought and sold in the past. So, um, you know, I'm currently in on it. This is, you know, why I do these videos to show you guys what I'm currently in on. Um, I'm not going to show all of them. But I wanted to show you this one as well, Sprint. Um, I got this for free for um, somebody signing up. And um, I thank you for signing up if you're watching the video. Um, average cost is zero. That's what's so cool about these free shares because you don't have to pay for them. So because someone used my link, and I have a link in the description to all these videos, um, basically you get a free share and I get a free share. And... I got a Sprint, and she or he could have gotten um, Zynga, Chesapeake Energy, um, Sprint themselves. I'm not sure if it works like that. If you both get the same thing, I don't think that's not how. I don't think that's not. I don't think that's how it works. But um, I know I've gotten a Facebook share before, and that was $179, and that was amazing. And I've gotten an AMD share, and that was like $13. And so um, I've gotten Ford. I think that at the time was like $11. So there's um, opportunity to get a lot of free money. This is free money right here. Um, Six dollars, whatever the price is, will be the price that I'll be able to sell and withdraw and keep. And there's no commissions and it's free um, to trade on here, free, um, you know, zero commission. So this company has 28,000 employees, a 3.5% um, PE ratio, which is really good, and $25 billion with an average volume of 15 million. So this is a really great company. Obviously, it's a wireless um, communication company, and it's in the top 100 most popular. It's 14% higher right now to buy, but look where it's at on the lows. It has a, a potential to get up to $9.22, so it has a potential of $3 gains, you know, necessarily if that were to happen you know that'd be a good thing we just went from red to green so we must have went up we're up a penny um but it, there's a lot of the analysts are saying to hold 66 percent are saying to hold and with three dollar gain per share even if you bought 10 of them you know you're not breaking the bank it's about 60 bucks but say in a month you get 90 dollars and that's you know 30 dollars profit you know so it's it's Buying low and selling high, you know, if it looks like it has a good setup. Now, the earnings on here is okay. They are in the green, and they're making about a nickel per share, which is okay. I mean, it's nothing amazing. I might wait till May 3rd to um, maybe buy more or get into actually buying some. But um, at the moment, 
I just got a free share of it, so I thought that was pretty cool to check out. And, you know, just, I have a lot of other companies, guys, but if you want, you're more than welcome to just look down here. I've got a few of Glad and Gain. They pay monthly dividends. Land, Wendy's, Apple, right, invest uh, real estate. If you want to get into real estate for $17, you can. I think they pay you quarterly, or they might pay you monthly. I'll have to check and, and put a little thing in the video. Um, good um, Century Aluminum. Um, they just recently got two, um, are putting, um, they're setting up jobs, 250 jobs for, um, um, to restart their smelter for aluminum. We're going to start making more aluminum and um, smelting the hard ingot iron and stuff like that. Um, so that's probably going to go up, I heard, to like around $30 mark potentially. So that's something you might want to keep an eye on or do your own research on is Cinex. Um, I also have a video about it too if you want to check that out. Um, Twitter is a good company that I own, you know, um, Bank of America, uh, T... PFE, Main, MUO, O is another good real estate writ if you want to get into real estate for real cheap without having to worry too much. And I believe that is also a monthly dividend. Um, I think per share it pays about 22 cents. So you could do the math. If you own a lot of it, you could have $220 every single month. So um, pretty cool stuff. And then just some of the um, stocks that I'm watching. Um, if you guys are interested in a few other different things that are kind of cheap to buy, um, Rite Aid, Lightpath, um, UMC, Chesapeake Energy, RTXE, Glue, Zynga, Groupon. I mean, these are all really good companies. Cron, um, if you guys want to get into a marijuana company, um, Siri Radio, AMD Chip, Processing, GM, um, SPHD is a nice company, Coca-Cola, Square, Intel, Morgan Stanley, Starbucks, NOBL, um, the Dow DuPont, which follows the Dow Jones, um, Nike, Citigroup, I mean, PayPal, Waste Management, these are a lot of good companies, um, NDAA, or NDAQ is a good one, Lowe's, Walmart, Abvi, Microsoft, Pepsi, um, and these are a lot of companies that I have been in on before um, that I kind of get in and out of. Facebook right now at 165 pretty cheap right now to buy, McDonald's, um, Apple, so I really... Um, like watching a lot of companies. I have owned them a few times. Lockheed and Martin, Boeing. I could bring up Boeing. Um, $333 right now. Um, for the year, its growth is 100% growth. Now, my portfolio is at like 200%. That's because I'm trading, buying, buying low, selling high. This one company alone is at 92%. So if you own this company August of last year for 171 you now have $159 profit. You could pull out $333 right now. No tax. Well, there's a little bit. Of, there's taxes, of course, at the end of the year, but no penalties or commission charges or anything from Robinhood, which is so amazing. They have 140,000 employees, and I just wanted to show you that you know even a small account like mine, you can get in on trades. This is some recent history. March 23rd, I got in two shares at 324, and I sold. Three days later for 328. So I literally made um, about eight dollars, almost nine dollars on this account. Now, if I would have had, you know, a lot more shares, you know, 10, 20 shares, it would have been a lot more. Um, um, you know, I could have lived off of the profits a little better in those three days. But it's still huge gains for such a small account. I put 600 in, so, you know, um, you know, a possible dip. I've seen potential, and basically um, that was on the 23rd. So I've seen a dip down here somewhere, and then I sold up here, and then it went down again, and I could buy here again at 322 and sell at 320 at 334. And that's only two dollars. That's not a heck of a whole lot, but um, you know, if you get enough shares, it could be a lot. 
or if you even hold on, if you would have bought around 253, you know, that's $80 a share. So um, definitely something to think about, guys. Um, you know, analysts say buy, 64% buy. Not a, I haven't seen a lot of companies on Robinhood with um, really good, strong buy ratings yet. Um, or I have, but just not as much. But this one has always been a good buy and a good hold. And their earnings per share right now is right around, I think, the $3 mark. And um, so $3 is a lot, guys, per share. They're making a lot of profits, a lot of money. And... So, you know, that's kind of what's going on with my portfolio. So I'm going to kind of wrap it there. We had started a little bit down on pre-market, it looks like. It bounced about $2, and then it went up an hour positive $0.32. Cents. So that's just all about the game. It's all about being diversified and having different, um, you know, stocks in your portfolio. But basically, guys, if you're watching, we want to get from $500 to $1,000 in three months, and this is week one. So I'm going to do a whole other series on it. All right, you guys have a great day.